I started jazz improv. I didn't know how to solo. That's why I was taking the class. After the first day, I realized that there isn't a correct way to solo. Yes, there are keys to follow, styles, and chords, but that's all personal preference. You can make a solo as random as you want. The best part about jazz is that it gets to the point where it sounds so cringy that it starts to sound good. After practicing with play-alongs, I began to see that each person has their own solo style, a flair that is unique to them. Some like more notes, some like space, some like more swing, and some like more accents. Some ha like more riffs, some like to wing it. I'm not sure what my signature moves are yet, but with a little more practice, I will. If I hadn't taken jazz improv, I wouldn't be aware of the fact that there are many more things to explore about jazz. My favorite thing that I learned was how to identify a blues. Blues is a type of jazz. It usually follows a specific pattern of chords. The standard length of a blues is 12 bars. A bar is a count of a certain number of beats. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4 might be one bar. I enjoyed this the most because after learning how to identify a blues, we practice playing it and finding it in music. Another valuable thing I learned about was how to make money as a musician. As a musician, you really have to seek out a job. I learned that asking for a gig should be viewed as a job interview. You should dress nice and be polite. You can also get a job as a music instructor, either with a school, company, or give private lessons. It also helps to network, which is meeting lots of people so that they can provide you with resources later on in your career. The last thing I wanted to talk about is how much the warm-ups have impacted me. I have become a much better musician from these little exercises. I was especially amazed with the outcome of my tone. Here are some easy warm-up exercises. Thank you.